In this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite SEO keyword tool, which just happened to be back on AppSumo. I bought it a year ago, and I'm going to share with you a free tool at the end of the video to identify keywords that you could use to grow the SEO traffic on your website. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com, where I make WordPress tutorial videos, and I do some AppSumo reviews for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button click on the bell if you don't want to miss a thing let's just jump right on into it this is my favorite SEO tool if you are familiar with SEO tools you know they all carry a pretty hefty monthly fee let's take a look at one of the most popular SEO tools and let's just take a look at how much it costs it's SEM rush this isn't the deal we're talking about this is not my favorite SEO tool um, but I just wanted to show you we go to SEO Rush. Let's take a look at the prices, and you can see the least expensive plan is a hundred dollars per month, and it's worth every single penny. But a hundred dollars a month is a lot of money for a lot, lot of people. That's that's going to be kind of a budget buster. So what I'm talking about is this right here. It's Serpstat. You can go there right now, wpcrafter.com/serpstat. S-E-R-P stat. I never thought this would happen, but AppSumo got them to agree to a deal to bring their service back to AppSumo for a second round. And I bought this last year. I looked at my receipt. Actually, here, let me show you. Here's the back end of my AppSumo account. And when I scroll down to the very bottom here, you can see this is when I bought it. Lifetime access to SERP stat. And I bought this February of 2017. I've been using this thing for a year. A lot of people have been using this thing for a year and it's been amazing it is it is just so solid i mean this was like the deal last year this was the seo tool of seo tools that ever came to appsumo and it was one of those tools where people were just wanting to come back i thought this would never come back and the reason is there's a lot of costs involved for these seo tool companies to have people on their platform their constantly retrieving data from the, their databases. It's not cheap for them. And so I'm actually kind of floored by the fact that they brought this deal back. Uh, let's just talk about a couple of the limitations real quick. I'm going to show you the tool and then we'll get into, I'll probably give you a little bit of keyword SEO basics for your website. And then I will jump in to that free keyword tool that you should consider adding to your browser if you use Chrome. Okay, Serpstat, and it's only 39 bucks. I thought I paid 49 last year. I looked at my receipt, it was actually $39. Here, let me get right on into the limitation right off the bat. It, all of these SEO tools have their own databases and they have databases for certain countries. If you're in a country and you want keyword data and they don't have a database for it, you're kind of SOL on this deal unless they add it. But the deal is just for the databases that are available today. Here are a list of those databases, US, UK, and a bunch of others. We got Canada in there, Australia, Germany. We've got France. We've got Italy. There's a bunch of countries in there. But sadly, it does not cover every single country. So if that's going to be a problem, I just want to let you know right up front in this video that these are the databases that are currently available. What this is, is if I want to do some keyword research for a, a particular keyword, but for US, the US version of Google, then I would use the US one. But if I wanted to do it for the UK, I would use the UK database. That's all that that means. So let me just blast through some of the line items here. They'll analyze, the tool analyzes URLs. There's some API access, and there's something interesting I'm going to show you about that in a moment. Moment. You can check on your competitors, so you can pop their domain in and see the keywords that they're ranking for. You can check the backlinks that they're getting, so you can know where that you could go and get some backlinks if that is what you wanted. There is website auditing where it will scan your website and give you a bunch of suggestions, uh, updates to the databases. Now, all of these tools have limitations. That's why they have different pricing tiers. So when I showed you the plans over at SEM Rush. 
SEMrush. If you're familiar with SEMrush, just so you know, the interface of using SERPstat is going to be very, very similar. So it's similar to this very uh, premium service right here. Even this has limitations. So don't let the limitations be a deterrent. So you can do about 300 queries per day. That's pretty good. And uh, okay, so it's going to let you know keywords. There's posi position tracking, which is really good. And there's backlink analysis, etc. All right. So actually, I don't think my plan included keyword cu clustering. Um, interesting. Okay. So uh, visit wpcrafter.com slash serpstat. Now let's go ahead and let me show you something interesting. And then I'm going to show you the actual tool. Uh, this is a tool that I hear in the AppSumo Facebook group will most likely be coming to AppSumo soon. I don't know when. And what this is is a reporting tool that can pull in data from different tools. So one of those tools, if we scroll down here, is SERPstat. It's right here. So you can have this. Be, this is like a reporting tool, like a KPI data uh, uh, dashboard. So you can look at this to see this, the stats and the health of your websites. Not health as far as is it breaking, but is it growing the, the marketing KPIs. Okay, this will link in into your analytics and your search console and SERPstat and other tools. They're saying it's also going to link into some of the other tools that you've seen on AppSumo. They have a webinar coming up for that. I just wanted to point it out that SERPstat is now going to start to be maybe integrated in some third-party tools, which I think is pretty amazing. I can't wait. Let's just, here, let me do a demo view so you can see kind of what a dashboard looks like. Uh, I know for me, I'm, I'm getting this the minute it comes out. So you can have a page open that looks like this. So you can glance at it and easily see how things are going for your website in the particular date range period that you have it pulling information from. So I'm actually very much looking forward to that. I'll be all over that. So here's SERPstat's website. They are the real deal. Come to their website. You can tell uh, if you're familiar with SEM Rush, the interface is going to be very much the same. I'll show you that here in a moment. They even, this is totally a side point. If you look on their blog, they did a blog post a year ago about how their AppSumo did a year ago that they, how many licenses as they sold, how it was, it just sold out. They limited it to the uh, certain amount of licenses they were going to sell, and they sold it so quick. Uh, so this is definitely a deal to jump on. You could probably do a search on that if that interests you. So here's the plan that you're pretty much getting. Uh, plus, there's um, I think a couple little extras with it. You're getting Plan A right here, which normally is 19 bucks a month, and there's a discount if you paid for three years, and it lists out the same limitations or um, not limitations caps they do have other plans that have different caps uh, if you ended up needing more but I'll tell you that the caps that this has are actually quite perfect and fine for the vast majority of people now if you're a big SEO agency you're probably going to hit these caps so you know it is what it is so anyways uh, I went ahead and took a keyword for phrase online guitar lessons right there and I used it in the tool I'll just show you some of the interface and the results it gave me when I did I entered that and the point being is anyone that has a website should be paying attention and trying to identify the right keywords for their product and service to make it easier for Google to show your website when people are looking for what you have. And this is the number one SEO mistake that people make all the time is they don't even know the keywords that people are typing in. So they're not optimizing their content for these keyword phrases. Guys, let me tell you, SEO is a lot easier than some people make it out to be. For the vast majority of SEO situations, there's just a few steps. Number one, you have to find your core or your your seed keyword phrase. In this case, it would be online guitar lessons. Then number two, you need to identify the longer tail versions or variations of that. An example would be online guitar lessons for beginners, online guitar lessons for kids, online guitar lessons XYZ. And there's, uh, or there's other variations of it. Instead of 
of lessons, it would be lesson. So you identify related longer tail keyword phrases. Then you start creating a bit of content and you use those longer tail keyword phrases in the article. You use it in the headlines, the different H tags, in the content. You tailor your content around it. You come up with a title that's going to get someone to want to click, but it also has those keyword phrases in it. SEO isn't as complicated as people make it out to be. Now, of course, if you're in a competitive niche, you're going to need to probably put in a little bit of effort. And this is what I call the sky. I don't call actually. Let me backtrack on that. I didn't come up with this. It's called the skyscraper the skyscraper strategy <laughs> tongue twister there the skyscraper strategy is simple you find the website that has the content that is ranking for your keyword you look at it and see why is it ranking for that a lot of times they have probably just have a very well written article that has a seed keyword and they've expanded on it with these longer tail keyword phrases and then all you have to do is create a longer article and a better article try to make it maybe 1940 words if you remember an SEO video I released last month as that being kind of the sweet spot of how long you want to make your blog posts then once you do that find out where they have their backlinks and then contact those webmasters and say hey I have also written an article on this topic I would uh, um, invite you to to take a look at it and maybe uh, add a backlink because to your article because it will further add value to what you've written linking to my website and for those types of things that's where you would use an outreach tool like Lemlist or MailShake or something along those lines these outreach tools. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's not much more complicated than that. Obviously, certain keyword phrases, seed keyword phrases are going to be a whole heck of a lot more competitive than others. And you're going to have to put a little bit more effort in some of those more competitive ones. But I find that for the vast majority of people, the keywords that they should be going after, yeah, there's a little bit of competition, but it's not like something that you can't compete at yourself. Okay, so here's the tool I have logged in. And remember I said the interface is going to be very much similar to SEO Rush. It is where you have your various options here on the left. Here on the right, you have the results of the search that you put in. So right here, what I did is I started with key Keyword research. I'm not going to get into every single one of these because this is a pretty deep tool and it's actually a suite of tools. So what I did is I popped in the keyword phrase online guitar lessons and then as we start scrolling down here we get lots of different information about this keyword phrase. So we get some of the most obvious keyword vari variations of this keyword which is uh, just changing the order of the words. That is also something to pay attention to. But right here, we're also getting the volume of those searches. And CPC is the cost per, pl per click for people that use this keyword phrase in pay-per-click advertising. That's your average kind of a cost per click right there. And right here off to the right, you see the actual keyword phrases that people are paying for. And you see them right there as well. So you can see the different variations most of these are already predictable if you're used to keyword research which is flipping around the words maybe making one plural or singular or adding the word best in front of but you can click on show all and see all these different various organic keywords you can see the interest in this keyword over time you can see which is pretty important the difficulty of ranking this particular keyword but this is where you do First, you do some research on your seed keyword, and then you use that to identify some longer tail versions. Then you plug in your longer tail versions into the tool to see what the competition is like for those. So right off the bat, I might not be able to just throw up a well-written article and rank for online guitar lessons, but I could probably rank for maybe five or six different long tail keywords in one article, rank for those. And so it's just a matter of finding those right longer tail keyword phrases and look at the 
look at the traffic or the the amount of searches coming to those keywords and then just ask yourself is the juice worth the squeeze okay so here's the keyword research and there's all of these different options for it right here you can also just put a domain in to start doing keyword research off of an existing domain and it will pull out keyword phrases that are related to that domain and I'll be the first to say I don't think it's me I think it's everybody sometimes we're in this little echo chamber bubble where it's hard for us to see what keyword phrases people actually enter in and that's one of the crucial reasons why it's good to have access to a tool like this all right so here is another tab this one I did a URL analysis so I took the URL of the number one non paid result which is right here this guitar lessons.com obviously they've got a really nice domain name there so we can see the organic keywords that that the website is ranking for. You can see one of the things here is free guitar lessons. A lot of people are entering that as well. You can look at their keyword position distribution. So right here, I'm seeing that they have 19 keywords that are ranking number one in Google when people search. And you can see this distribution. You can click on this to see those keyword phrases. And here, you can see the competitors to this website. So it's gonna tell you those and here is the missing keywords this is actually a very interesting thing these are keyword phrases that are related to this competitor URL but they're actually related to their competitors kind of hard to explain so these are keyword phrases that maybe this website didn't take into consideration but they're also keyword phrases that its competitors are taking into consideration like video guitar lessons I think that's actually pretty good free beginner guitar lessons see that's a longer phrased keyword right there free guitar lessons for beginners see how these are keyword phrases that are longer than the seed keyword that we might not right off the bat think of that people are actually entering in of course you can see the diminishing amount of search traffic to these particular keywords but that also means it's easy to get easier to get those eyeballs you do enough of that you will have your website become an authority and you will start ranking or have a, a greater chance of ranking for that seed keyword phrase which was online guitar lessons this is just seo 101 guys okay and then lastly what did i do here i popped the url to that website into the backlink dashboard this right here is pretty interesting because if you do have an outreach tool it's just a matter of going to the same places that they're getting backlinks from say their articles or roundup posts or something like that reaching out to them and seeing if they will include a link to your article in those various roundup posts and so you can scroll here and see the backlinks where they're coming from the websites the anchor text that they're using this is the text that is the actual hyperlink you can see those all right here uh, so anyways this is SERP stat obviously I didn't go into deep 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 detail because this tool is very deep in its feature set lastly I wanted to share with you a tool that is free. You can add it if you use the Google Chrome web browser. I've been seeing this talked up for the last several months by lots of different people, and it's called Keywords Everywhere. And essentially what this is, it's really neat. It's a free Chrome browser extension. You link it in, and wherever there's keyword phrases, it will just tell you what the Google traffic is and that cost per click. Let's see if they have some screenshots here. I didn't even go here for it. I don't have this on the browser right now because we'd be seeing all that in videos and stuff like that. Um, so uh, let's see if there is some screenshots. Actually, you can get it for Firefox as well, it looks like. Okay, so here's for Google. I'm sure it's going to show me how yeah there it is so you just use keywords there's keyword phrases wherever you go right 
You're searching on Google, you're searching on Amazon, you're searching on all these various websites that you go to, and it's going to tell you the Google numbers for those phrases wherever it finds keywords. It's insane what this tool does. It's very insane that it's actually free. So in this screenshot, you can see someone types keyword tool, and then now there's this new bit of text underneath it that shows the volume. Let's see if we can get some additional, let's see... There's And it works with other tools, like here's an example of a tool, I forget the name of it, uh, This I should make a video on this, but this also generates longer tail keyword phrases, but in a different way, different methodology, it also adds the search volume to that, so this even works with keyword tools, it's pretty crazy. Uh, so anyways, uh, this is keywords everywhere, I don't know the limitations of it, but it is absolutely free it's a great tool i should have it on this chrome browser but it would interfere with my various videos so you have that there if you want to check out serp stat my link for it is wpcrafter.com slash serp stat that's an affiliate link when you click on it what that means is a small portion of your purchase if you do purchase it comes back here to support the channel that's the only way I can stay uh, be able to make videos like this. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and do that. It doesn't cost you anything additional. And every little bit goes to help this channel stay thriving the way that it has been. So this is Serpstat. I wonder what keyword tools you use. And I'm sure a lot of the folks that are going to watch this video already have Serpstat from last year. There's a lively discussion going on in the WP Crafter Facebook group about this. People saying they're great experience that they have had using SERP stat. You just can't beat this deal. I mean, this is just a no-brainer deal. I'm honestly surprised they brought it back for the same price of $39. This should have been $49 or more, but they did this. This is great. What tools do you use? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, what has your experience been with SERP stat? Add that to the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.